Hello YouTube, it's Supernova, back with more Falcon 4 BMS. Today we're going to target an SA-3 from the 4963rd Air Defence Battalion using a HOM missile in HAS mode. The SA-3 has been marked as pre-planned target or PPT-56. First we need to look up the details of the SA-3 in the tactical reference section. The SA-3 Goa or S-125 Neva or Pechora is only somewhat mobile as while the missiles are typically deployed on fixed turrets with a capacity of 2-4 missiles, they can be loaded in pairs on Zill trucks. The missiles have a range of 15 miles. The P-15 Flatface C-band target acquisition radar has a range of 155 miles and is mounted on a van. It passes targets onto the SNR-125 Low Blow I-D band fire control and guidance radar, which has a range of 28 miles. Low Blow is mounted on a trailer. We would normally use POS mode to attack the SA-3 as it lacks mobility, but for the purposes of this video we will use HAS mode. Note that as we will be targeting the missile guidance radar, we must note its range, which is 28 miles. Set the master mode to air to ground by pressing the A-G button on the ICP or with the keyboard shortcut F6. Check that master arm is set to arm. Set the active steer point to PPT-56 either by using the ICP or by using the keyboard shortcuts which are numpad 4 to open the steer point page then enter 56 then press enter. To power the harm missiles, press OSB7. To view the weapon page, press OSB14, then OSB18. To enter HAS mode, press OSB1, then press OSB19. We're now looking at the Aircraft Launcher Interface Computer, or ALIC. The HAS display defaults to wide view which has a range of over 60 miles. In centre, left and right views the range is 40 miles. The display can track a maximum of 10 targets at the same time. Tracked threat types are displayed in the Detected Threat Status Box, or DTSB. To filter the threat types, press OSB4, then the relevant OSB to remove desired threat types from the display. The horizontal and vertical lines are marked in 20 and 22.5 degree increments respectively, with the horizontal markings displaying difference in azimuth and vertical the angle between the aircraft and the threat. When the SA-3 is within 40 miles, press OSB-3 and cycle the options to center. We will wait until we have reached the 28 mile range of the SA-3 low blow missile guidance radar before we fire the harm missile to increase accuracy. We can see the range to the PPT at the bottom right of the hood. Centre the threat directly ahead, then to hand off the threat, first ensure the weapon page is Sensor of Interest or SOI. Press DMS down which is Control N by default if the weapon page is not already SOI. Then move the radar cursor over the desired threat, in this case the SA-3 with the radar cursor keys which are Shift Arrow by default. To hand off the threat, press TMS up which is Shift Home by default. Handoff may take up to 5 seconds. When the threat has been correctly handed off, RDY or READY appears above the weapon page OSB. This process must be completed, otherwise the missile will miss. Hold down the weapon release button to fire the missile. As always, if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, feel free to comment, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you again for the next Falcon 4 BMS video.